Good morning and welcome to Wickersley Angling Centre. Today I want to talk about a question I get asked about quite a bit in the shop to myself and a couple of my other colleagues as well is um, what's, what's the best priced mid-range poles? Well we'd all, we'd all like as top at range wouldn't we um, as three grand Daiwa Air Zs and as three, three grand Preston X, X90s and and the £4,000 Browning Spheres, but let's be a bit more realistic. Most people, when they're talking about a pole, have got roughly between, I don't know, £1,500 and £2,000 to spend on a pole, which is a lot of money, but there is some belting poles out on the market for that kind of money as well. I've picked three for you to have a look at today. Um, Three, three different poles and they're all different makes as well so it, um, it they're not all from the same company because we I don't think that some poles in some companies are better than others in for a similar price so I've picked the best three what I think for the price range a very good value for money poles so first up in the range is a brand new pole which has come out from uh, Browning this year it's called the Browning Zeiten Z83. Now this pole was out, this pole has been out for a couple of years, which obviously last year it was called the Z82. Um, and it was quite a nice pole, but they've done some upgrades on this pole this year. And to be fair, this is a lot better pole than the Z82. Um, it's a little bit stiffer and a bit, little bit lighter. They've slightly changed the package of it as well. Um, but this is a good all round pole. If you go commercial fishing, it's very strong in the sections, especially in the butt sections, there's no give at all. But if you do, you, this, and you'll be able to use this one as well if you went on uh, um, silverfish fishing as well, on rivers and places like that, this would be a very good versatile pole. The 16 metre pole comes, prob I think this comes with seven extra top kits and a long number four section. Well, Browning call them, C sections in old, in old money how we talk about uh, as pole sections it's an old number four section so you'd have be able to have a couple of top three top top four kits set up plus a few more top threes um, so that for for, for two thousand pound is a very good pole you can also buy this pole as well for two two grand in a thirteen meter ver version so obviously the kit the kits are a bit different in that you get a different kit. Um, combination I'm not too sure at the moment what the kit combination is but if you give us a ring or you go to your local browning stockist they'll be able to show you and explain the difference in the two two different uh, kits the second pole in the mirange and this probably it's probably my all-time favorite as well it's the Daiwa Tournament Professional. This particular pole has been out for over 20 years now and as I said in a video I did the other week on the new 13 metre version what we've uh, done a couple of new um, um, packages for, th this pole doesn't need much saying about it. As I say every pole from this pole above all in the Daiwa UK range what a bit what made up to the present day including the air zeds are still made on this mandrel so that's just a testament to how good this pole has actually been and how good it was 20 years ago as well um, say so you got a 16 meter pole only you can buy this in at 1500 quid you can buy it as a 16 meter pole kit so it comes with uh, six extra top kits and a cupping kit of your choice for £2,000 or you can buy it as two different versions of the 13 meter kits as well but as, a, as, a, as an all round pole this is as probably as good as it gets. Now my third pole in this price bracket well it's just it's just under my price bracket to be fair because this is for, this uh, top three what I've done is poles between fifteen hundred to two thousand pound, but we have been selling this pole now for the last couple of years, and it's the Matrix MTX three, which comes as a sixteen meter package. Um, with you get sixteen meters of pole, 
you get a cupping kit, you get a hold all, and I think you get a cup, a dolly butter section to go with it as well. Now, this pole, for, for the money, I don't think there's a better pole on the market, to be truthful. If you came in and we out looking at the price tags and just picked this pole up, you, you would definitely say that this pole is between uh, £1,800 and two grand, but it isn't. They do three in their range at uh, Matrix. They do the MTX1, which is a 13 metre pole. They do an MTX2, which is a 14 and a half pole. Then they do the MTX3, which is their mid range pole. And I think personally is the best pole in the range. And then they do an MTX4, which is their flagship pole. The, with this pole, as I say, you get your seven top kits and your cupping kit and, and, and your hold all and what have you. This pole sells for 1299 quid. It isn't the lightest on the market. It is more designed for your commercial fishing. But if you want a good mid-range pole for commercial fishing, you ain't going to get one much better than the MTX3. And in my personal opinion, I would sooner have two of these MTX3, so I've got loads and loads of spares, than one of the MTX4. That's how good I rate this pole in their range. When they came out two years ago, when we were at the uh, Matrix trade show, uh, they all, all the lads down at Matrix and that were sell, telling us how good they were. When I picked them up personally at the trade show, I thought, yeah, they're just another range of poles. They, they didn't float me boat so much as when I was looking at them for the first time. But when we got them in stock and we brought them up and put them up in our pole alley, the more I picked them up and put them up against other poles in other companies and, and other uh, poles for a similar pi price range, these poles are very, very good and are definitely worth a look at.